Hello, D. Vincent W. here. Um, for the past couple months, uh, I've been uh, doing shifts here at the Peace Vigil at the White House in Lafayette Park. Been here since 1981, and uh, it was started by Concepcion Picciotto. She uh, has been received awards over the past 30 years for her activism. Um, and people from all over the world come here. Um, and I have found that people are very receptive to the message of peace. Uh, Concepcion, uh, a woman has been here, someone has been here for 24 hours, seven days a week, no matter what the weather. Whoa, um, even in winter, winter, summer. Yeah. No matter what, if someone isn't here, the park police will come in and take it, and it won't ever be able to be here again. Wow. She won a court case, you know, to, to a peace vigil. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Free speech. But there's nothing. No power. No no water. No, no. I mean, people bring her things. Volunteers oh. take over for her. I'm taking a shift today. Can we take a picture? Sure, of course. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. My name's Daryl. Yeah, you're replacing her. Uh, just I took a shift for four hours. Someone has been here. 32 years has been here. Hello? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, yeah, all the time. There's always somebody here. So if you came, you know, tonight at whatever time, there's always someone. 32 years someone has been here. Uh, yeah, no, actually. 32 because. years. Hello? Um, well, it's more, you know, you get media, you get people to cover your story, things like that. American military in Iraq and Afghanistan used depleted uranium in armor-piercing shells. And it pollutes and radiates the land, Afghanistan and Iraq, and veterans are coming back very sick from radiation poisoning. Um, as you can see, this is... Uh, There's a lot here, and people come, and it's amazing, you know, people from Pittsburgh, Ohio, people from Indiana, people from California, Seattle, Florida, Japan, Australia, Germany, Italy, Greece, come here and they see this here, and they're reminded about the the right you have even before the Constitution was written to free speech, which is a precious thing. So, 24 hours a day for 32 years, since 1981. Uh, a gentleman did start this vigil with conception. His name was William Thomas, and he died a few years ago. <laughs> Don't be a lemming. Save yourself and renounce genocidal weapons. The encampment of Concepcion Pichotto and William Thomas, who started in 1981, in front of Lafayette Park on the sidewalk across from the White House, evidences a persistence and permanence to this singular vigil with its signage of provocative messages. The robust commanding presence creates what the Northern Ireland Times dubbed a moral Maginot line, and its occupants watchers at the gate. A daily reminder 
to presidents that nuclear weapons of mass destruction are the ultimate insanity. Not one president has deigned to speak with these staunch peace activists, either directly or through emissaries, but the National Park Service continues a harassing watch for opportunities to evict her should any regulation be broken, such as stretching out for some sleep. Conception must perch on a wooden crate for catnaps through the night or pace back and forth to keep from freezing. She does not succumb to despair. She provides over her project. She presides over her project with an iron determination and courage, garnering support at home and abroad. Her, ins her instructive signs include President Eisenhower's prescient warnings against the power of the military industrial complex. She and William Thomas prevail, prevailed in court to keep the signs in front of the White House to live by the bomb or die by the bomb in one succinct declaration. She is undaunted by the imaginal hardships of 24-hour per day sidewalk life of protest. Conception is a contender in the great marathon for a peaceful world. Unfairingly, she challenges the many, un, excuse me, unfailingly, unfailingly, she challenges the many tourists from all over the world who daily pass by this protest, this vigil, to choose peace over war, violence, and nuclear and other weapons of mass destruction. All are touched by this uncommon expression of civic stamina. If the people have what they need, she says, there would be no need to fight. Asked why she persists, she replies simply, for the children, who must be taught to respect and value life, not material things. We applaud her passionate journey, her deep caring for a peaceful future, and for maintaining the ramparts at her White House protest site. Peace Park Anti-Nuclear Vigil. We do thank her for urging in, a, in imaginative ways that we choose sane policies shaped by the philosophy that enduring national strength comes through peace. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. This is an international event. We have been interviewed Let me be quick. Okay. Yes, please take one. There you go. Yes. Free? Yes. Okay, thank you.
Hello. Is it back here? Yes. Okay. Okay. And the back too. Okay. What do you got in there? Oh, the camera. Yeah. Let me move this. No, I want to leave that. Take care. Good to see you. Oh, 